in red. My payment is on hold, no money. <laughs> so, guys, this is a little video explaining um something that happened to me recently on my YouTube channel. So, a few weeks ago, like early January, I thought, like, I hadn't checked my Google AdSense account for a number of weeks. So I thought, let me just jump on Google AdSense quickly and see what's going on. Lo and behold, on my Google AdSense, AdSense account, it says that payment is on hold. In red. My payment is on hold, no money. <laughs> and I was so looking forward to my January money because it should be the best, you know, from I started this, so... I got a bit worried when I clicked on it it says that I needed to resubmit some document and the document it was asking for it said tax residency proof or something like that it says the proof that I had submitted before wasn't sufficient I needed to submit something else and it said tax residency that when I googled it it was saying as tax residency certificate then another time later, it said that because of the box I ticked, I, it's not a certificate they're asking for. Anywho, anyways, I went on Google and I found out that there is a tax residency certificate that you can get in the UK concerning with working abroad. So, or, you know, earning in another country. And it was something to do with that because there's something about a tax treaty or something between... I don't know the correct terms, people, but it's some tax, Um, what's it called? What's the word I'm looking for? Some tax, oh dear, what's the word? But some agreement then between UK and USA, because when I was doing the tax bit on Google AdSense, it says that the UK is on the list of countries that has a tax agreement with the USA. So I get some tax something. So basically, I think they won't tax me instead i'll be taxed in the uk and then the uk settles the their thing with the us in their way so i went online and quickly i found a link to i might insert um the, the how to find that in the video so in my google search bar i typed tax residency certificate the link came up straight away i did accept cookies and then i scrolled down to find the certificate I think down here it gave the option as so trader. It said, I think it said if I'm applying on behalf of somebody, I wasn't. Oh, on behalf of sole trader. So I did um individual and that came up. So you'll need your government gate ID. If you are um, in the same position as me and you want to do the tax certificate. So I went on the HM Revenue website in the UK and I filled in the application and it, I did this on the 10th of January. It's saying on here, thank you for doing that on the 10th of January. And I've got my certificate. It came yesterday. However, I didn't need this. Like I thought, oh gosh, I don't know when this is going to come. Some places were saying it would take 30, can take up to 30 days and stuff to come back. So after I filled in the form and sent it off to get the certificate, I think a few days later, I thought, let me try and do my P60. So I quickly logged on to my regular job um, pay office online. What's the word called again? I know, my brain, guys, my brain. Um, anyways, logged on, got my P60, uploaded it, uploaded it to Google AdSense. And I think the following day, the alert at the top that said payments on hold went. So it's not there anymore. So in my eyes, they accepted the P60. The P60 shows my earnings and all my tax information for the year. So I was like, cool, that seems to have worked. Um, I haven't had any more every day. I'm checking, checking, checking to see if it comes back up because I'm saying, all right, after the second day, they probably think, okay, cool, we accept that. But then someone else might look deeper and say, no, this isn't good enough. So I'm here checking every day, waiting, waiting to see if there's going to be an issue with the P60. So far, so good. I haven't had any issues. And the payment seems to be saying that it's being processed. However, today is the 23rd 
of the month and nothing nothing yet in my account i'm still waiting still waiting but i'm gonna keep creating anyways i wanted to show what the certificate looks like let me see if there's any personal information on here no there is not it says to whom it may concern i certify that to the best of hm revenue and customs knowledge me my name of such and such address um, uh, on the 17th of January is a resident of the UK and in accordance with Article 4 of the Convention in Force between the UK and USA. So basically it's confirming that I am a resident of the UK and I pay tax in this country. Yep, and it's signed and everything. I won't put it in the camera because it's got some personal information on it. Then there's a letter that came with that. And this letter is dated the 17th of January. I did the application online on the 10th. This is dated, so that's the certificate. This one is a covering letter that comes with it. And it says, <clears throat> Certificate of Residence Request. Thank you for contacting us on the 10th of January, 2024. I enclosed the certificate of residence you need for the tax authorities in USA. The certificate of residence does not guarantee that your claim for tax relief under the double taxation agreement will be successful. The overseas fiscal authority will decide if you meet the conditions and if they can allow the relief. Please tell us if you think they've refused the relief that you should be entitled to. We'll then consider contacting them on your behalf. We'll do this under the mutual agreement procedure. We may also give them information to help with their decision. During our checks, we may have to give information to the tax authorities in USA. We'll do this under the double taxation agreement or legislation. And then it just says for more information, go to um, gov.uk and search tax on foreign income. If you do not have access to the internet, you can phone us and so on and so forth. So I've got my tax certificate, guys. So if Google... AdSense, you know, I'm here. Hit me up if you know. Why is no? Anyways, that's another issue. If you watch this video, is it normal? Because I'm pretty new to YouTube. Is it normal for the date of the 21st to come? That was on Sunday. I was saying that falls on the weekend. So when I read everything, it says that it will be paid the day after the 21st. If the 21st falls on the weekend. Now that should have been yesterday. Didn't come yesterday didn't come today and I shall be checking when I wake up in the morning can anyone enlighten me on that is it normal I see where some people were saying why is there where's why is there pay late and it's never normally is late normally it's definitely dead on the 21st but and then I saw where they said that a few days later that it was three days after the 21st or so so just holding out and see what happens but yeah the P60, I uploaded my P60. If you're in the UK and you're wondering what you can use, try using your P60. That probably works because it worked for me. I uploaded it a few days after the 10th of January. Today is the 23rd and I already got my certificate back. But they accepted before the 15th of January, they accepted the P60, the warning was gone it wasn't on my account anymore it's not saying there's a hold i don't have any nothing no bad thing i go through my emails to check if google adsense have any issues with me or with my content and i have no such problems on my account so i'm here waiting patiently but this video is about that you can use your p60 try that and you can also apply for the tax residency so um proof so i'm going to put a link or a a link and maybe a screenshot of how you can find that information on the internet so that you too can get your tax residency proof or your tax certificate of uk fiscal residence thank you for watching my channel please like subscribe and share this video Thank you so much. Give the video a thumbs up. See ya. Bye.